So in our last movie, we put together this bone to make this darling little child's hair move when we rock the head back and forth. And we got some very disturbing results. When we push the play button, we get uh, the hair moving kind of like we wanted, but there's this strange uh, jello-like quality to the head. And while we know that babies' heads are soft, I don't think they're that soft. What we'll do now is fix that. Let me go ahead and stop this and take it all the way back to the beginning, frame zero by hitting the rewind button. You'll notice now that as I do that, and we wind up at frame zero, you can see these bone influence regions that we've learned about in movies preceding this. And the temptation is to say, well, let me just reduce the influence of some of these, and that should fix my problem. But it doesn't. And the reason why is that even though this main bone here, the, the bone head, as it were, head bone, I should say, that's what we named it, even though it does not have bone dynamics, these others influence the geometry or the artwork around it, and you just cannot get away from it, even if you turn the influence so far down that it's not capturing all the hair, and then you get these strange little bends in the hair that don't look natural at all. What we need to do, and this is where we're getting to the point where you can start thinking about how you assemble the skeleton and rigging, is how we're going to set up the bone dynamics for this very simple shape. I will use the bone selection tool B and we're actually going to rebuild the hair bone but on its own layer inside of the main bone layer and I thought I named that let me go ahead and name that to baby head actually what happened is I was getting ready to create this one anime crashed and I had to rebuild that file so here we are I'll select this bone we'll delete that we'll delete the next one and the final one. So all we have left is this main bone for the head. I'll select the hair layer right here and then I'm going to add a new bone layer in the layers palette. New bone and we'll name this bone layer hair. Just like we had done originally I'm going to first move our target layer into the bone layer and then we'll go ahead and draw a new bone starting right at the base of the hair. So I'll select that layer, the hair bone layer. Use A for add, our keyboard shortcut, and we'll draw the three bones just like we had before. Nothing new there. I'll go ahead and drag our character over to the left. And then now back at our bone selection layer, with that tool activated, I get the bone constraints window to pop up by clicking there and I will choose for each one of these to have bone dynamics at their default values. And close the window. So now I've got this bone layer that's the hair as a subset of the regular baby head bone layer and what the baby head bone layer selected we see we've got those three key frames right at the beginning. Now when we go ahead and play look at the final results. We don't get any of that distortion of the hair because the head has its own bone and the other hair bone is a subset of it and doesn't exact any influence over what it's connected to. This is one of those mysteries of rigging that you can start thinking about how you create these cascades and these styles to make things like that work. But look at this motion. Isn't that great to actually keyframe something like that out and get it all planned? Man, what a ton of work. And while this isn't the animation section, you'll notice that the head slowly rocks one way, then another. Well, you can change that by simply dragging the keyframes. So now when we go ahead and play it, and let me actually select all these keyframes and move them down the line so we don't have to wait so long for an effect to happen. When we play this now, get a nice little head snap there. And now our hair bounces and we can see it work. Great way to save time. This is the power of bone dynamics. Works for dog tails, works for kids' hair, works for monsters, tree branches, everything. The applications are really diverse. In our next section, we'll get into the meat of creating animated characters, and that is rigging.